Hello, it is Ryan, and we could all use an extra bright spot in our day, couldn't we? Just to make up for things like sitting in traffic, doing the dishes, counting your steps, you know, all the mundane stuff. That is why I'm such a big fan of Chumba Casino. Chumba Casino has all your favorite social casino style games that you can play for free anytime, anywhere with daily bonuses. That should brighten your day a little. Actually, a lot. So sign up now at ChumbaCasino.com. That's ChumbaCasino.com. No purchase necessary. VGW group. Void or prohibited by law. See terms and conditions. 18 plus. Hello and welcome to the recipe for the day from Kitchen Newbie. I am walking with a stick. And the sun is beating down on my head and I'm going into the bun shop and it's not Mrs. Mrs. Miggins pie shop it's the bun shop and my name is Samuel Pepys and the, in the bun shop the king buys his special buns from the bun shop uh, called Chelsea buns oh, is that right? and the two pence each the two pence oh. each which is rather expensive if you're not big, fat and healthy and one of the aristocracy like me. But for the rest of you, it's just hard ched. You'll <laughs> have to make your own. That's it. It's all about Chelsea buns. Now, I didn't realise that was the history of them. Yeah, they I got pulled realize. down. The, the, the bun shop in Chelsea was pulled down in something like 1830, something like that. It's because it was mm. falling to bits anyway. Mm. But um, yes, that's where it started. Uh, consequently, Mr. Blackadder, um, he went to Mrs. Miggins Pie Shop. Shoppy. No, noticed that yeah. at the end. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> well, the the wonderful thing about Chelsea buns is that they are absolutely delicious, and they're not too sweet. You can make them as sweet or as not sweet as you want, basically. <clears throat> and they're very adaptable. What you need to make, first of all, is a bread dough. Is the strong, using your strong flour. But there are some additions, because normal bread dough is flour, salt, yeast, a bit of oil and warm water. But the Chelsea bun dough is a much richer version of that. But again, you can make it as rich or as not, not rich, rich as you want. You can use the ordinary bread dough. <clears throat> what you will need is 700 grams of fl uh, strong flour. Now, if you've got white, use white. If you've got wholemeal, use wholemeal. Today, I used a mixture. I used mostly wholemeal, very finely ground, strong flour, plus um, some white. But it's got to be between 700 and 800 grams. But I used 700 today. That's sufficient. And then you'll need to put one rounded teaspoon of salt into your mixture. Now, pop it in and just stir it round with your fingers or your spoon. And then you need a 7 gram sachet of fast action, easy blend dried yeast that you can buy anywhere, anywhere yep. virtually. Anywhere that sells strong flour will sell that yeast. I suppose in the pie shop they wouldn't be able to go to the supermarket and buy a packet of, of ordinary yeast. Well, of dried yeast. dried yeast. No, they would use fresh yeast. And if you want to use fresh yeast, use about t a 10 gram piece and you'll need some warm water and a teaspoon of sugar. And all you do is you crumble it into a, jar, a jug and then pour over a little bit of warm water, not hot. Just, yeah, just, just feels yeast, warm to it? you. Yeah. And then stir in a teaspoon of sugar, a small teaspoon of sugar. And it'll go nuts. And then just cover it up and put it in a warm place. Leave it for about half an hour and it'll all froth yeah, up. The, the dinner time for the yeast lads. It is, yeah. But if you, for my uh, For everyday use, you might as well use, uh, use dry this, yeast. It's just yeah. easy. And you'll, you've sprinkled in your salt and then you need to sprinkle in your sachet of, of yeast. Uh when you've, when you've sprinkled it in, just, just use your fingers just to mix it in. Because it's going to get really well mixed anyway. And then you need to put into a jug 30 grams of butter. Now, if you want to put, put a bit more in, you can put up to 50 grams in. Uh, this is where your, your fat comes in, your oil that you use for your bread, which is a preservative, and it slightly moistens. And this butter obviously gives it flavour too. 
and then pour over about 100 mils of very hot milk. Then top it up once your butter's melted with um, 400 uh, mils of cool milk. Okay. Now, if it's too cold, it won't matter. It'll, it, it, it will, yeah, yeah, yeah. But don't ever put too hot in because it will just yeah. kill your yeast. So all in all, you've used 500 mils of, of milk. Yeah. Now, if you wish, you can use 400 mils of milk and add an egg. Okay. If they're very small eggs, add two. It's got to be about another 100 mils of liquid because f especially wholemeal flour will take up a lot of liquid. Now, to this mixture, you can also add a couple of tablespoons of demerara sugar, if you wish, or brown sugar, uh, to sweeten your dough slightly, which is what I did today, because I wasn't going to make the filling too sweet. But if your filling's going to be quite sweet, which we'll talk about later on, then I'd stick to just a plain dough. So, make a well in your dried ingredients, and then pour in your milk and butter mixture. And then give it a good stir till all the flour is incorporated into the liquid. It'd be a bit sticky at first, but what happens is the flour soaks up the moisture. It will be sticky at first, but don't think, oh dear, I'm going to add some more flour. Give it a chance keep going for to it, keep yeah. going. Yeah, you might need to just flour your fingers and the a little bit. It absorb more anyway, oh, won't it? It does, yeah. So bring it all together and then knead it, and you'll need to knead it about eight to ten minutes get it nice and stringy and elastic and then roll it into a ball keep it in your bowl now I always knead in the bowl because it keeps it warm your dough and also I don't have a messy work top but if I'm if I'm doing a kilo and a half of dough then no I would really use it you can't fit it in can you then, no, no so but keep it into your bowl cover it up and then leave it for about half an hour and then bring it back out put it onto a Floured surface and have a dusted with flour rolling pin ready. And you need to roll your dough out till it's quite big rectangle. Now I'll give you about 52-ish centimetres mm -hmm. by about 44 centimetres. So it's it is big, quite it? big. How thick is it? Half a metre. Well, it's not very thick at all. All right. Less than a quite centimetre. Thin. Yeah. yeah. Because you're going to leave it to, to prove, so it will... It will you know, rise a bit, in a bit. Now then, you've got a basically a blank canvas, and you can do put anything in it. The fruit. world is your. You could make one. it at this point into a savoury. The original Chelsea ones one. had lemon peel in them. Candied peel, yeah. well, dried fruit, butter, and sugar. That was the the the. That's the main one. Now you'll need if you're going to make that kind, use about four hundred and fifty grams. It's a lot of fruit but you'll need a lot of fruit to cover your rectangle but before you do anything have about 25 grams of very very soft butter and if you use the butter that's spreadable straight from the fridge it's ideal especially if you've left it out a little bit and then use your fingers or a brush to coat the whole of your your dough with butter first of all just one surface just one surface. Sur yeah yeah and then you can sprinkle your 450 grams of dried fruit, mixed dried fruit, your own choice, raisins, sultanas, currants, cranberries, all, um, apricots, anything, basically. If they're quite big, if it's big, chop it up a bit. So if it's a, an apricot, chop it up into four an pieces. Huge, isn't it? Of course, yeah, you don't, you, you don't want it too big. It will be very difficult to go into the next stage. Sprinkle over about two tablespoons of demerara sugar and then 200 grams of chopped nuts. Right. You don't have to put the nuts in if you don't wish, but I like the nuts. You always did like nuts, my dear. <coughs> I love nuts. I think they're wonderful. And then, it, we won't go on to the next stage. I'll tell you another, my Philly. version of yeah, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah is um, the, the part that's nearest you of the rectangle, about three inches, spread with Nutella... Okay. And then chopped dark chocolate pieces or the little dark chocolate chips. And then fruit at the top. And then another one, which you want if you want to do a Christmas version, is use a four about four hundred gram jar of mincemeat, spread that over the top, 
and then over the top of your mincemeat you'll need a nice big bramley apple that's been chopped, peeled, chopped into tiny little dices and sprinkle that over the top, 80 grams of chopped almonds or whichever nuts you fancy, about 12 uh, glassy cherries cut into I was wondering quarters. when glassy cherries was going to come into this. <laughs> well, I'll tell you about that as well. Well, that can go in your mixed dried fruit. And then 100 grams of dried cranberries, so you've got quite a, a lot of fill in there. Or you can have just the Nutella version. Don't spread your butter on it this time. You know the butter that you've spread all over you. Just use Nutella. About Yeah, you'll need a, at least half a jar, which is about six tablespoons of Nutella. Spread it the whole... <laughs> Uh, area of that dough that you've rolled out and then sprinkle over chopped nuts and 100 grams of dark chocolate chips now then here comes the the next step whatever your filling is now some people like to roll it from the top but I prefer to do it from the bottom I like to do it because I find it easier that way and then all you do is you, t you turn it over about an inch first of all the whole because it'll stretch yeah. and go all of out of shape if you start doing it too much or don't do it enough. So get your first edge up and then you roll so you need to make sure it's well floured underneath yeah. or else it would stick. And then just keep rolling it gently all the way along the long edge of your rectangle, so your 52 centimetre yeah, yeah, edge. Just keep rolling it, keeping all your filling inside and your end pieces that will be a bit raggedy, try and keep pushing all your filling in so you're containing it to a certain extent. And then just keep rolling it all the way up till you get to the top. No worries about moistening it to stick it. The filling will do that. That's why you need the butter or the mincemeat or the, the Nutella. And then once you've rolled it all the way up, straighten it and try and get it as even a big doughy sausage as you can. And then what you need ready is... I tend to do two things. I have a well-greased, deepish baking tray, which is one I use to cook my shortbread in, yeah. my flapjacks, you know, things like that. So tray bake tin, quite a big one of those. And then I have a big round cake tin that's sprung form. So the, what you need to do, because it makes about 24 pieces, pieces, this, you need to cut it into... Uh, your pieces, and I do them about a depth of about a centimetre and a half. Yep. If they're two centimetres, it doesn't matter. It's a bit tricky. Don't measure them. Just try and do them mm, about yeah. that. Whatever's quite easy to cut. And then once you've cut them in, I usually do them about six at a time. Because if you're all in it, you start losing your filling if you keep, you know, keep them all cut. And then place them. Now, the first one will be the raggedy one, but don't throw it away. Make it into a piece and then you put them down onto your baking sheet first of all. Put them at about half a centimetre apart on your right. baking sheet. And then the rest of them, put them into your Whatever cake the other tin. receptacle you've yeah, got. Yeah, yeah. Your cake tin together. So what you're going to do is you're going to get one that's like baked oh, together. Oh, like a sherry one, like your pulling yeah, sherry. Yeah, a tear thing. one, yeah. yeah. Now your ones on your baking sheet will join up a bit, yeah. but the ones will be... They'll, they'll be close yeah, together. Yeah, they really are. <clears throat> Pop it into the oven then. And you need your oven on about 180 degrees. I know that sounds funny for a yeasted dough. Why? Because it's normally higher okay. for bread. But this will... this will ha Because your dough itself is quite thin. It's yeah. got filling yeah, in yeah. between. And also so the fruit's going to get the hot. Fruit's the fruit's going to cook it as well, yeah. yeah. So, But it's got to be up to temperature. So it's got to be 180 degrees. So you preheat your pre oven. Preheat your oven so it's up to temperature. That's um, 375 or 350 yeah, gas mark gas 4. four. But before that, it's before you preheat your oven, what you're going to do now with your things that are in your uh, baking sheet or your tin is you're going to leave them to prove for another 40 minutes. Right, okay. In a warmish place. So you Just can, cover warm them your, you can be doing your oven So you can do your oven, yeah. yeah, 10 minutes or so before you're ready to... Because they should double up and come up nicely yeah. and rise up. Um, and then you bake them in the oven. And it only takes about 15 to 20 minutes. Be careful because they do catch around the edge a little bit. It doesn't really matter because it's quite nice. It's tasty. But don't let them burn. There was a picture of um, the pie shop. Oh, yeah. Um, 
um, Chelsea bun. Yeah, all right. Yeah, and yeah. it was quite brown. Oh, they all they are. <laughs> yeah. And it's it's to do with with the ingredients. You yeah. see that this the sugars from the fruit. Now then, when you come they come out of the oven, have ready three tablespoons of hot water in a little pan. Uh, about a tablespoon of uh, soft brown sugar, and then about four or five tablespoons of maple syrup. Okay. And then just mix that together, heat it up slightly because then your sugar will dissolve, and then pour that over. That's all when they're of baked. You. That's when they straight away. Yeah. As soon as they come out. Could the you oven. do something like dissolve something like marmalade and do it with marmalade or something you like that? You could do. Yeah. yeah, I suppose so. I never have, but you could do. Because it means for me, I find the flavour of maple syrup quite nice mm -hmm. when there's a little drizzle of it on or something like a crepe. Oh, like like yeah. Um, but um, that because that's what I put on yeah, yeah, one yeah. today. That, you that and Nutella together, I, find, I would find that too just much. Too heavy. Well, indeed. if if you're going to just do it Nutella, I wouldn't do that. I would just do a, a mixture of icing sugar and warm water. Right, just to give it a that on. You want a glaze on yeah. the top. And then sprinkle over a little bit of demerara sugar to give a bit of crunch yeah. as well. And then just let those cool. Now, the ones in the uh, tin that are all closed together, well, you'll prize them apart and they're delicious because they're all squidgy and beautiful. And then the ones on the baking tray will be a little bit more crispy on the outside. So you've got a nice, yeah. uh, sort of, well, a contrast, really, yeah. of, of textures. But... You can quite easily make those into a savoury one with uh, cheese and onion. You could do uh, pork mince ones. You could that like make nice, sausage yeah. meat ones. And you could make some really like nice that. sort of Chinesey type things. Yeah, you, you could. With all sorts you could. of interesting yeah, flavours. There's so many different things. And have a, have a bit of a go with, with this. A things. sweet chilli sauce. Yeah, and if you wanted to make two different kinds... I took a nice in sauce one. Yes, that would be lovely. Mm. What you could do is cut your rectangle in half and put one filling on one side, one on the other, and then roll them up. So you'll yeah. have 12 of each or, or so. That uh, sweet sounds like savory. a winner, that. Yeah. I might get a burger van and sell those outside <laughs> football ground somewhere. <laughs> but Chelsea buns are, have got such a, a wonderful ability to... to change you know uh you adapt it's catering. just the, the basic idea isn't yeah. it yeah and they add to your uh and as i say they're not too sweet they've got very little actual sugar contained in them you make so many pieces that there's the sugar yes in the dried fruit and in the nutella if you're using that but if you consider how much there is in each each bun there isn't much but they are delicious Absolutely. Now, before we uh, finish off, I'd like to say that we got a message. Oh, yes. We got a message from someone somewhere in Scandinavia mm -hmm. saying how much they liked the podcast, which is really heartening. It is. Um, very heartening indeed. And it got me thinking, if you want to actually send us any questions in or, or talk to us, mm -hmm. um, you'll be able to send us a, a text, an email Anything you like. And we could talk about it on the next and podcast. And we could talk about it on the next podcast. Or we could do a Send podcast of questions. Yeah, yeah. And we can use, you can use Paul at kitchennewbie.com uh, to contact us. And that would be really great to hear from you. And that leads us on to where you can hear us. Because you can hear us on iTunes. You can hear us on Spreaker. You can find us on kitchennewbie.com. And you can find us... Um, in uh, bcradio.com via Facebook via Facebook you can find us all over the show so please do come along like us on Facebook and also do please send us a message we'd love to hear from you thanks for listening to the recipe for the day podcast you'll find all the information in the show notes and very shortly on www.kitchennewbie.com Lucky Land Slots, you can get lucky just about anywhere. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to... Has anyone seen the bride and groom? Sorry, sorry, we're here. We were getting lucky in the limo and we lost track of time. No, Lucky Land Casino, with cash prizes that add up quicker than a guest registry. 
In that case, I pronounce you lucky. Play for free at LuckyLandSlots.com. Daily bonuses are waiting. No purchase necessary. Void were prohibited by law. 18 plus. Terms and conditions apply. See website for details.